Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, I'm Jeanette from Boricua Sewing and Crafts. Um, one of the things that I wanted to do is talk to you guys in this video about sewing box corners when it comes to tote bags. Um, I have been creating a lot of these tote bags uh, because, you know, pretty soon, well, they already started. They're gonna be charging five cents for the plastic bags. So um, to save us some money, I'm going through my stash of fabric and I am creating a bunch of tote bags. Now, I watched a lot of videos on how to do the box corners and my box corners were not coming out as great as um, they should have. Some of them were not like aligned and they were just not working out. This one is also um, not done correctly as well. Um, I'll show you right here. And I'm gonna show you how I do them. And I'm also gonna show you, this is a mistake, okay, that I'm gonna show you to avoid and everything, because as you can see, it should go straight like this, but I kinda sewed it the wrong direction. So it's it's like this, okay? So I'm sure you guys can see it. You know, it's not exactly going the, it should go the same direction, but it's not because I sewed one going this way and then the other one, is going the opposite way when it should have been sewn like this. So anyway, um, but let me let me show you what what I have learned because I watched a lot of videos unboxing the corners, and um, I'm going to show you guys exactly what is really working for me. Okay, now a lot of times when I watch people, they always like take a ruler, right, and then they say, "Hey, just uh, go this many inches here, and then this many inches here," right? So a lot of times when they are measuring the inches, one of the things that I, that I noticed that people don't tell you, and it's kind of hard for you to see, let me just low, put this in here. As you can see right here, and it's kind of focused, I've already stitched, right? I've already have stitches right around here, right? And then I go, and then I, I'm stitched right here. One of the things that I did to box a three inch corner is I went ahead and I just took a piece of paper, this is cardstock, and I did a three inch box, okay? So if you have a ruler, that's a three inch box, you're kind of golden, I don't have one, so I just created a template. Then one of the things that I am doing is, as you can see, and it's focusing again, this is where my stitch line is. One of the things that I didn't realize is that you're supposed to be measuring from your stitch line, not the edge of your fabric. That's why a lot of times my measuring was off. So what I am doing is now I'm taking this template and I put it right in between this stitch line that's going down and the stitch line that's going across. This is where I'm putting in my three inch square. Then what I do is I mark it, okay? I mark it here, and then I mark it here, and then I cut it out. I do the same thing on the other side, okay? And I know that I'm, I'm moving around a bit. Sorry, I accidentally could hit it. But I really want you guys to see, I'm really into the details and stuff because that's really important. Okay, when you're learning how to sew and stuff. All right, right here, I have my stitch line on the other side, right? And I know it's hard to see because it's white, but I, I'm pointing on it. I'm taking the cardboard and I'm putting it right within the stitch line, okay? You notice that it's like right here and then right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take chalk and I will trace this. Once I trace it, then I cut it out. And I know for sure I have three inches on each side, okay? So I'm gonna put the camera down. Um, and I am kind of messy, so sorry. <laughs> but um, you guys are probably gonna see me, but I'm a little messy. I wasn't anticipating to be in the video. But I want you guys to see all the details. Okay, so see, cut that. Now, I don't use a rotary cutter. I actually use scissors 
get your very sharp scissors for your fabric and then cut your box out. It's better if you have longer scissors so you have less of repeat cuts because sometimes your repeat cuts can be a little off, but mine is fine. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this side right here because this is the top of my tote. This is where I need to box my corners. And like I told you, I'm putting the, the box inside the seams, okay? That, you don't put the, the three, the three inch box. This is no, because this then you don't have a three inch box, okay? You put it inside where your seams are. And then I take my chalk, Why did I do that? <laughs> Tell I'm tired. Okay. And put it around. So I got my chalk there. This time I'm going to take a scissor that's longer. That way I don't have to repeat my cuts. And then now that I have my chalk line, you probably don't see it because it's very light. But there you go. If you have a longer scissor, it's better because that way you have a more consistent straight cut. There you go. There. Perfect. So doing this template works really good, okay? As you can see, it's more solid and it's more aligned, you know? It's, it's much better for me to do. Now, let's go over to the sewing machine because I want to talk to you about how you're going to sew this, okay? Okay, we're over here by the sewing machine. And I'm going to show you how, you, how I sew these shut, okay? Now, one of the things you're going to need is I recommend using one clip, okay, for the centerpiece, and then your pins. I like using the pins, okay? Matter of fact, because I like using my pens, I'm going to um, use my magnetic wristband because it, it's so much easier. Okay, let's start with one of them, okay? As you can see, it's a V-shape. So what you're going to do is you're going to take both ends. And you're going to pull them apart. Gentle, though. Now, this is something that I want to be very specific about because in a lot of videos, I haven't seen this. They're not, you know, you're going to, when you pull this apart, you want this to be a straight line, okay? You don't want it to be like crooked like this or anything like that. You want it to be straight. So what you're going to do is you take the ends and you're gonna nest them, okay? You're gonna have one going one direction right here and one going here. And you're going to kind of like lock it in, like take the both sides and you're just gonna lock it in. Now when you do that, see how it's straight? See how it's straight? It's like a straight line, okay? A straight line, and you have one going one direction, one going the other, okay? This is where I say you use your clip. I like to have my clip right there. Then what I do is just smooth out your fabric, and you want it to fall flat, like a line, like this. Straight line. Take your time, don't rush it. And then once you have your straight plate, your straight line, that's where I say use your pins. And I use my pins and I put them right here, okay? That way to keep that line straight. And then I go here and I'm gonna keep my line straight. Right here, okay? All right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it under the sewing machine 
You want to make sure it's nice and flat. And I'm going to do back stitch, straight down, and then back stitch. Okay? I align the fabric with the edge of my presser foot. That's how I know I have a nice line, straight line. I kind of start a little bit inside, and then when I start, I just backstitch to the edge and then go forward, okay? Now, don't, don't, uh, don't sew on your, on your pins. That's a bad habit, don't do it. Make sure this is straight, one going opposite direction, okay? Now I'm back stitching all the way to the end. Now I'm forward. Go slow. That's one thing that I learned about. Um, and look, this actually holds your clips too. Okay, that's what I like about these things. Go slow. That's one of the challenges that I had when I first started sewing was going fast wanting to sew fast, I slowly learned that when you do that, you actually, that's where you make mistakes and your sewing is a little sloppy because you're rushing. So enjoy the craft. All right. See how nice and straight? Okay. Now, usually what I do is I take a scissor and I just cut a little closer to the stitches. Not too close, but just to get rid of some of the bulk. But you notice I'm not that close to the stitch. And I'll give you a close up so you guys can see how I did this. Okay? Let me put this in here. Let's give you a close up so you guys can see. Okay? See how I cut it? Not too close to the stitch. Okay? It's, and notice each one goes in one direction. Now, let me do the other one, but let's, let's, let's avoid the mistake that I made on the bag that we were previously looking at, where I had them going the wrong direction. <laughs> All right, so here's the other box corner. Now, what I didn't pay attention to was this seam right here, I've already sewed it to go this direction. So I want that to continue. So when I put these two together, I want to make sure that when I nest it, that is continuing to go in the same direction that I that I sewed down there. And like I said, you want this to be flat, okay? Not curvy or anything. Just lay the fabric down, take your time, put your clip. What I didn't do on the other one was to make sure that this seam was going straight down. You saw how I this I sewed it the wrong way and it started to go like this. You don't want that. Because then when you iron it, you want it to be in the same direction. So see, okay? Now I'm gonna fix the rest of it. And I thought I had it caught and I didn't. Okay, now I have it. I have both. There you go. And it's in the right direction. So now I want to lay this flat because I want to make sure that it's nice and straight. Okay, and it is. Let's fix it on this end too, that way. Let's see that it's flat. Sometimes it takes a little figgling, you know, you gotta mess with the fabric a little bit because you wanna make sure that it lays down correctly. That's okay, just take your time. I'm gonna take one of the pins, put it in. Let's check the other side. 
Make sure it's laying down right. Pin it. Now I have it. Okay? Now I'm going to go into the sewing machine and I'm going to sew it. Same way I did the last, the, the other side. Okay? Make sure you take your pins out. Okay? Make sure you take them out. You don't want to sew over your pin. Very bad habit. You don't want the, the needle to accidentally hit the pin, break, and then something goes in your eye and stuff like that. So, you know, let's avoid the issues. Okay. Here's another pin. Okay. So now I got my thing and of course I'm going to trim a little bit because I, I don't, you know, gets rid of bulk. I mean, it's not a lot, but you know, you want to try to get rid of some bulk. All right, there you go. Put this in the trash. All right, so let's go over to the cutting table. Let's take a look at this. All right. Okay, good. This is a good view. All right. I know exactly. Okay, so as you can see, box corners, perfect, perfect length, okay? And one of the things that I like also is if I go to fold this, let's see, there you go. See how it folds nicely? And then I can iron. See how it folds nicely? Because this is going the same direction. I, this one, I made a mistake. And I'm not going to redo it. These are for me. See how I folded it here and then here and went the other way. So, you know, I don't have that, that flat fold because I sewed it the wrong way. But here, fold. And you have a perfect box corners. By putting this in the right place and using a template. I find this is easier. It works for me. You just really got to pay attention. And you got to make sure that you nest this correctly. Once you do that and you just hit straight, you're good. You're golden. Everything's going to come out really, really nicely. So this is really cool. I like it. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to share this with you because I had problems with boxing my corners i found that very difficult to do i was watching a lot of videos and um then i finally caught on that you don't place this on the actual edge you know the edge of the fabric you don't do it like this you actually go and you put it inside where you sewed okay and stuff and it didn't dawn on me about the the nesting of the corner and making sure that you have that straight edge and also making sure that when you are on the other side that you're paying attention that when you nest it that this is a continuous straight nest as well so anyway guys i hope you like this video and found this pretty helpful i kind of thought i would put this out there because i was having issues with boxing my corners and I feel that um, this is an easy way and I really wanted to explain what I found out, what I discovered and share it along. And, um, you know, I'm sure this is probably going to help someone out there. Um, and if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'm all about embroidering, sewing and other crafts. And, you know, I like to put things out there that I learn and things that I'm making. And I like just like to share the information. And for if you are not doing anything on Friday nights at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I host Embroidery Happy Hour. And um, it's a great time to talk and, you know, about what I got going on and, and the stuff that I'm working on. And, you know, I even answer questions and I interact with the people in the chat room. So it's a great place for, for us to spend Friday night and just, you know, share information. So I hope to see you there. So hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel out a lot. And I will talk to you guys at the next video.
Bye.